Hey guys, and welcome back to the feud. Wait, hey, yo, oh, oh, hey. Bring it back. <laughs> Bring <Hey>. it back. <laughs> Steve Harvey still has a reply, by the hey. way. Uh, well, yeah, it's probably like midnight. Or maybe not. Although I did find you out that Steve Harvey best. actually plays Galaga in between uh, sessions for Family Feud. Oh god damn it. You might actually know what Sonic and the Secret Rings is. <laughs> now nah, I'm really screwed. <laughs> oh no, I really screwed the pooch this time, guys. Anyway, look, it's the circle of power for nine. And also, I just sent that corpse to the Shadow Realm. I mean, the trap dimension. You know, actually, okay, you know what, Ariel? Now that you brought it up, I need to know. In... The original Japanese script for Yu-Gi-Oh, do they just die? I believe that's, um, that's what I've heard. I haven't actually watched, um, Yu-Gi-Oh subs. Okay. That's something but I really I believe need to know. That, I believe that the Shadow Realm was supposed to just be them dying. However, just based on the animation, that would greatly change a lot of the games. So I'm not actually sure about that. Oh, I know. I would, well, no, that would just not make sense for the Shadow games in particular, because there's a lot of games that take place in the Shadow Realm, and it's right. like, okay, so what are they? Are they just corpses just laying there pretending to duel each other? I'm just confused now. <laughs> So, I don't know. All I know is that, um, before we found out that Season Zero was a thing, my dad got us Volume 1 of the manga. And, um, in it, my brother read it, and he was pretty young at the time, and he came up to me and he was like, Ariel, Yami's killing people. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Make and it I'm, stop! <laughs> and I read it, and I was like, what the fuck? And we ended up bringing it back to Barnes & Noble. <laughs> because my dad was also like, what the fuck? And that's how we found out that Season Zero was a thing. <laughs> Actually, technically, no, that's not how we found out about Season Zero. We had a Yu-Gi-Oh! guide thing that mentions all these episodes we had never seen for Season 1. And that's how we found out for Season Zero. But anyway, enough about yu gi -Oh! Back to Yu-Gi-Oh. Peter Jacobs. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out a way to make this rhyme with Yu-Gi-Oh, and I gave up. Schmoogy schmo. <laughs> oh shoot, the bone snatcher. He's still there. I shoot. Boogie boogie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you didn't even try that time. <laughs> <laughs> you're blaming Ariel. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, excuse you. <laughs> Why am I trying to do the seven point spell? I don't have enough defenses to do the seven point spell. Well, Ariel, just because things are hard doesn't mean you shouldn't do Ariel, them. all you need to do is and tribute summon. No well, one can very... summons anymore. <laughs> Now with all the special summons. But see, this is me trying to restore enough magical energy to cast the spells I need to stay alive long enough to do my next plan. <laughs> A lot of steps in that. <laughs> also, now I have seven butterflies. But what I was about to say is I'm very thankful for the fact that the bone snatchers are unable to climb down those stairs. This yeah, time. Suppose, suppose <laughs> See, I'm just trying to kill these bone statues because I think that they're going to interrupt me just for the rest of the game if I don't. <laughs> Man, I wish you could do that with just people. <laughs> Not necessarily kill them, of course. But also not not necessarily killing them. <laughs> Brian, you're saying some mixed messages here. Ariel, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I think Brian's 
Is that... <laughs> so that people will stop interrupting me! <laughs> run, Peter uh, Jacobs, run! I got a conga line! What's that, Brian? I'm too busy interrupting you. <laughs> you can't interrupt a conga line, silly! I'm stuck! <laughs> ah! I mean, if you throw I'm so glad that one jumped me can. because I'm stuck. <laughs> you know what? I suppose that's not incorrect. <laughs> yeah, think about it. <laughs> Quick, back to my hidey hole. Into the trench. <laughs> I use this trench a lot to recover <laughs> my energy before trying to get past these fuckers again. <laughs> And then I came up with a plan. A sneaky plan. Plans plan. and all plans. <laughs> the kind of planning plan that plans planning. The kind of plan where I put up a force field that'll block this hallway so that they can't fuck with me while I'm doing shits. <laughs> Just leave me alone for five seconds! <laughs> but now I have run out of magic and must restore more. Hey, this one got around my fucking shield. <laughs> I don't- okay, they take like seven fucking bullets, okay? I don't have- he's like the only character who takes forever to get a melee weapon. That's my problem. Or else I would have just cut their heads off and been done with it. Man, I hate guns. They're so weak. That's actually a big complaint I have in survival horror games is when it takes, like, a metric shit ton of bullets to kill anything. <laughs> because it's like, okay, yes, I know that you're trying to build suspense and shit, but you've ruined my suspension of disbelief. <laughs> Remember the Bandersnatches from Code Veronica? Fuck those things. I thought it was- I thought them grabbing your head was just a cutscene the first time I played. And I was just like- <laughs> I wonder I where like, this, this is gonna go! Really <laughs> And then the player's <laughs> head exploded, and I was just like, oh. I was supposed to shake Oops. the controller. I was frustrated with them in that they, um, liked to. Okay, I cheated with them in that I would climb up and down the stairs. Yes, I know exactly and... where you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> Um, but the thing is that they could just hop back up to the second floor. So you, you'd shoot them, like, once and just keep going up and down. Yep, because they couldn't <laughs> attack you while you were climbing up and down the stairs because it was an animation. So that works with other zombies, too. But... <laughs> it was not generally recommended. <laughs> Anyway, I spent all that effort to get in this room, and all I got is some ammunition. Well, at least this ammunition's real! Man, all I got were these bullets. Man, this shit <laughs> sucks. I wish I had a knife. I wish I had that two-handed sword that Paul Luther was carrying. I get it later. <sighs> Granted, that two-handed sword should be in his poor condition by now, considering it's been just, like, passed through hands in this cathedral for a couple hundred years, but... Anyway, now I'm in the basements. Oh shit! Only got zombies! And I still only have a gun! <laughs> oh wait! These are regular zombies! Oh no! <laughs> However, these guys actually fall over when I shoot them. However, did they switch guns? No, it's still the revolver. God damn it, another bone snatch. Hope that I'm out. <laughs> Anytime you want to get me a melee weapon game so I can cut some heads off, that'd be great. And 
in the meantime, though, I'm gonna just keep putting up my 9 shield, or my 7 shield, now that I have it. And, um, yeah. I don't have enough magical energy to attack this thing, so I'm just gonna... Run away? Yeah, I'm Yes? Gonna... No? I'm Leave? Gonna... <laughs> gonna go over here. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I'm in that sacrifice room. It feels like you were just here with Paul Luther. <laughs> I accidentally stepped on a trapper. Because it was dark. <laughs> what the? Uh, what does that even mean? <laughs> it means I couldn't see it, so I stepped on it. I, I don't understand. Well, okay, well, where things. is it? Does it just take you to this dimension thing? Yes, all trappers do is send things to the trapper dimension. That seems annoying. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen that hard. Like, every time I've seen you be here, it hasn't seemed like all that. Yeah, well, you that's usually because just the, press it's a couple not things a punishment, and really. Yeah. Anyway, that corpse that I teleported out of the way is now in the tracker dimension forever. Good. <clears throat> and I mean that. It's going to be there for the rest of the game. <laughs> Wait, it's still gonna be there when you get back? <laughs> yes. Shit. <laughs> because I sent the... That's how I got the seventh circle. I sent a trapper into the room. There was a corpse blocking the door. So the trapper was like, okay. I put you in the dimension now, and there he is. We'll be there for the rest of the game. Because I think the only players left to play as is Grandpa and the Firefighter and then Alex, who are all after World War One. So yeah, I think they're for the rest of the game. Damn. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yep. Um, Brian's the firefighter in the arts. Is that what I am? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Austin is pious. God damn it, Brian. Uh, do a better Wolf. job and put out these fucking fires. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, but all I can do is make them bigger. What is my only thing that I could use? Fi also, fire. <laughs> but you they gave the me a torch. Fire burn out. They gave me a torch at the academy, and all I can do is wave it at the fire. But it just gets bigger. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. You know what? We've actually met all the characters in the art now. Um, I'm Alex. Brian is pious. As you know, we haven't met Brian's character yet, but we will. I lied. Um, <laughs> Brian is the firefighter. Wolf is Indiana Jones. And Chris is this guy. Um, Peter Jacobs. I don't know why. I thought you were going to say Which Wolf Peter still Jacobs has Dash and been able to... Okay. <laughs> After we recorded last session, he started messaging in our, our Skype chat about stuff that I did bring up during the episode and I'm like, you know, you could, you could come to the recording sessions and he's like, yeah, well, he's having some equipment problems and you know, can't quite make it. But, so Wolf is here in spirits, being the only other person besides me familiar with this game. But, let it be known, dear squadlings, that his commentary is not that different from mine. <laughs> <laughs> he would say the exact same thing. Not the exact same, but um, I remember last time I pointed out that I liked that you go to the same locations multiple times and there's big differences because of how many years pass in between them, and he said something very similar in the chat. So, that's what I mean by we share similar sentiments about the game. <clears throat> so he is here in spirit. <laughs> Chris, however, just left, like he said he was going to. <laughs> Wait, when did he say that? He made, like, five different jokes about why he was going to leave and not come back for six months. Oh. <laughs> I don't even remember what they all were. He made so many. <laughs> no, we should, we should have a Chris timer. 
Just always up on, on the on the on the channel. <laughs> no, it should be like a day since last accident. And it'll be days since last Chris sighting. You know, Brian, yeah. you're the one who knows how to fucking code. Maybe you should do it. <laughs> I I don't do HTML. I I, I can. I, I don't like. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's not that I don't like to, it's that I just don't. But I can't. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh no, the soldier was taken from his bed never to see again. Oh no. Oh no. The horror. Not oh, Peter Dinklage. No. So yeah, if you if you haven't figured it out yet, um Pius is having his little minions take the wounded and feed them to the guardian. <coughs> that is fucked up. <laughs> yes. Hey. Like, even for him. <laughs> hey, I had he... my whole Cliff Notes version of the cutscene where the monk was like, the guardian is hungry. And the pie was <laughs> like, yeah, sucks to be him. But also, they do need to feed him. <laughs> or he will leave. And then call the ASPCA. Can't have that. Anyway, Beyond that is the end. Of an angel. What? No. Uh, Run away! From <laughs> 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 <Let> me <laughs> in the arms. <laughs> Man, I wish I was familiar enough with these commercials to pair it. <laughs> I wish I remembered those commercials enough to actually parody <laughs> the voiceover, but I don't. So I'm sorry. Good night. You're Hitler. <laughs> You're puppy Hitler. Do you really want to be puppy Hitler? <laughs>